Hey everybody, hope everybody's having another great day. I'm out there having another great day. I am in downtown St. Pete uh, today, downtown St. Petersburg, for the Saturday market. And we're gonna check that out. Uh, went to that one farmer's market in Orlando last year, one of my first videos I did. And I had a few people comment that didn't see very many vegetables. But we're gonna check and see how many, how much we can find at this place. I This was a lot bigger than the one I've seen in Orlando. And I thought that one was great, but this one's this one's impressive. Uh, and this happens every, every Saturday. So um, let's go check this out. That's coming at you right now. I am at the Saturday Farmer's Market here in St. Petersburg and who doesn't love a farmer's market and they actually have a lot of produce at this one it does look like and uh, there's a lot of stands I don't think I can look through all this I only got so much time on my parking meter and who doesn't like them cucumbers and uh, cucumbers are just nothing good uh, for but nothing making uh, a good deal pickle. They have a lot of produce down through here. i never seen so much produce. I might have to get me some stuff. Now here is something you don't see all the time is the fresh green beans. And they have those. And these are all organic too. Here's uh, baked cucumbers. I've never heard of a baked, baked cucumber. And they do have some salad mixes here as well. All organic as well. Only $4 a bag. Not bad. Right here is one of the pathways that this is large farmer's market in this big city block here in downtown St. Pete. Happens every Saturday. Uh, it's a little bit more extravagant than the one I saw over in Orlando. They've even got stilt walkers here at this this farmer's market. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. How you like the event today? It's not bad. It's, it's big. Great. Have you checked out the beer garden? Not yet. Good. It's over on the grass. A lot of tall things happening here. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a stand called Holy Guacamole, the world's greatest guacamole. Here's making a big, big mixture of guacamole here, of some good guacamole. I'm telling you, I just don't know which way to go here. Here's authentic Mexican food, and here's barbecue, and down here's the taco lady. This is just a sea of food down through here, just and a sea of people too. This one right here is called the Twisted Indian. Ooh, interesting. And they got the Bollywood Bowl, and a Chirato, and the Nawich, and a Mango Lassi. And who doesn't like an arepa stand? Gotta love some good arepas, those are pretty good. There's people here buying all kinds of food and stuff. They got Shark Attack hot sauce back here, the hot sauce with the bite. We got even street music out here, the guy playing an accordion here. There's a guy up in the other end, he was playing music. Lots of cool things here. Uh, lots of places to sit down and eat too. And this is something I hadn't seen before. It's called Rambaton. And uh, they're interesting looking. They're fruit, uh, but he said it tastes like lychee, which is, uh, I've had the lychee candy, which is an Asian candy. And these are pretty darn cool looking. Uh, almost looks like a strawberry with, uh, with hair. You're gonna get some of these Rambatons? We're gonna get some of these Rambatons. <laughs> they taste like lychees. Whatever that is. Whatever. Well, yeah, it's 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 very good. I I've had the lychee candy. You can get it at Asian market. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Have a great day, ladies. Bye bye. Here it shows that you actually peel that off to eat it. Yeah. And uh, it's a very interesting. I had never seen that before in my life. I like this is cool. This is cool. And they have more produce down on this end and. Definitely got them cucumbers and the bell peppers and the ripe tomatoes down here. And these are some nice looking, nice looking produce here. And they've got the old watermelons over here too. Ooh. These ladies here, they're, they're looking for some produce too, right? Sure are. You can smell the fruit, can't you? They have onions here and they have yams and red potatoes and white yams and all different varieties here. This is awesome. And who doesn't love some bananas? And uh, some seedless watermelons too. Those look pretty good too. This place here is called Kurt's Sausages, and they're selling breakfast sausage or sandwiches, and they're growing it up back here. This is looking pretty, pretty darn good. 
Yes, look at all them onions. Oh, I love some grilled onions. And ooh, it smells so good, it makes me want one. Best sausage in the bay. Ooh, those smell so good. So right here we have a few oh, spicy Italian sausage. We got our German bratwurst. We got uh, German with Hungarian, Hungarian garlic. And we just started making So all different, all different types. Oh, wow. Here. I got one of these sausages. They just looked so good and they were so nice talking to me. Uh, they had so many different kinds to choose from, from German to Hungarian and uh, Italian. And I got the, um, the uh, maple cinnamon one with uh, grilled onions. I'm gonna go put me some mustard on this and uh, take care of this here for my lunch. There's a stand here that also sells fresh German bread and they have almost sold out of that bread here in a matter of hours here at this farmer's market. And yet here is another large tent with all kinds of produce and strawberries and just a mountain of vegetables. And on this corner is a Thai gourmet market. They have a little band set up here in the middle playing a little music. Got the kids out here having fun in the hot, nice Florida weather here today. See a place back there called Empanada World. And as you can see, there's all kinds of tables and they do have the stand-up tables that you can stand. Here's a little stand called Sunshine Smoothies, all natural fruits, and those are only $5. Another place for more uh, handcrafted artisan bread. And there's some crafts and uh, various vendors uh, selling their, their, their stuff. And you can usually find some pretty interesting items sometimes that you might not find anywhere come to one of these farmers markets. It says St. Pete Rocks. I wonder if that's the old pet rock. I'm not sure. Here's some interesting things made from uh, recycled metals. And it looks like old plates and things all carved into artwork. How cool is that? There's a, there's a turtle. Well this has been my little trip here to the Saturday Farmers Market. Saturday Market here in downtown St. Pete. And this is very large if you're here on vacation and uh, want to check, check out some local stuff. This is a great place to come, get some uh, something to eat, look around. A lot of people here. Uh, they do this every Saturday here at the uh, Saturday Market. Uh, so definitely come check it out uh, next time you're in down St. Pete. I have not, I didn't even cover the whole grounds. Uh, I see tents way over there. I didn't even get to the whole the whole thing but uh, this was a good time I'm glad I stopped in here uh, I tell you that Kurt sausage was really really good uh, for five dollars too and that was a that was a reasonable price compared to some of the other vendors I have seen at these places uh, they're wanting anywhere from ten twelve dollars sometimes for items uh, but those were really good appreciate all you subscribers out there subscribing and uh, keep subscribing I'm going to keep going places. I'm having fun going places. And um, definitely uh, go out there and make it a great day because uh, I, I tend to try to go out there and make a great day and try to find something new to do, something interesting. And uh, I enjoy doing this. Uh, it gets me out of the house. Um, but um, also check out our spread shirt shop. I got t shirts on there. People was wanting tourist trap t shirts. So you can get those now. Remember, Go out there, make it a great day because you deserve it.